it's Ty Bug and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you are new here and you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe. That'll help me out a lot. So today I will be reviewing an indigenous makeup brand called Cheekbone Beauty. If you are in Canada, you can get this at Sephora and online on Sephora. If you are not in Canada, you can get this online at cheekbonebeauty.com. So let me tell you a little bit about the brand before we get started with the review. So this was... um. Founded in 2015 by Jen Harper. She is an indigenous woman and her goal with the makeup brand is to um, tell the story of rich indigenous culture that we've had to hide for so long. That's a direct quote. Let me just read it from the website. Our products tell a tell our story and that of the rich indigenous culture that we've had to hide for so long. You can see it in the naming of our products, our brown colors and in how we express ourselves on social media, in store, or wherever you may find us. They are sustainable by nature. Drawing from our indigenous teachings, we strive to ensure our products are truly sustainable. From the ingredients to the packaging, we make every effort to use only what's needed for the least amount of environmental impact and maximum wearability. That's really cool because a lot of brands have started doing that recently, but it seems like this brand has been doing that since their founding, so good for them. And then clean color. This is all in like little sections on their website. Clean and sustainable does not have to be plain and bland. At Cheekbone Beauty, we believe everyone should be empowered to express their unique selves and have fun with makeup. The indigenous culture is bold, vibrant, and colorful. That is exactly what our products are meant to bring. That is exactly what our products are meant to bring to life for you. <laughs> I'm still having, recovering from my head injury and everything, so sorry if I... Uh, I lose words and stuff. Feel safe knowing Cheekbone Beauty products are created without harmful or controversial ingredients. And then their mission and vision is integrity and honesty, courageously curious, and always love and respect. And their um, every purchase, I think, uh, Cheekbone's aim is to make a difference in the lives of indigenous youth through donations that support educational opportunities for them and to create a space in the beauty industry where everyone including indigenous people feel represented and seen i just love everything about this brand and like the way they go about marketing and all of that so i have a couple makeup products here to review for you guys and i will show you all of that and show you how they perform on my skin also just want to say that i am also an indigenous woman i am apache and cherokee those are my tribes and i'm really excited to be reviewing an indigenous brand I always, like every holiday season, I always look for new indigenous brands or companies to support because, you know, they're kind of hard to find, so you really need to search for them. But I'm really glad that I found this one and that it's at such a big, um, it's at such a big retail like Sephora, so I'm really excited. So the products I have is I have two pencils. One is an eye pencil, one is a complexion pencil. I have a bronzer and blush an eyebrow gel, and a lip gloss. And then I have all of their cute little packagings here. They're so nice and just, they have like so many nice messages on them. And then I also received one of their little postcards with it and it says, thank you for ordering. And you can also plant this and it'll grow flowers. And it has their mission on it as well. So very cute. And because I ordered two pencils, they gave me a complimentary pencil sharpener. And it has their little cheekbone beauty um, embossed on here. And they gave me a little note that says, thought you could use this. Ooh, can you see it? I just thought it was so cute. I've saved it all this time. So I actually ordered these a while ago. I just haven't gotten around to reviewing them. So now I finally am. So let's get started with the makeup look. I'm going to be starting with the Etude House Sebun Soak T-Zone Base just to um, prime a little bit. I'm hoping that the complexion pencil is near my shade because I would want to use it as more of like a foundation versus a concealer but if it's too dark I'll use it as more of a bronzer contour and if it's too light I will use it 
as more of a highlighting um, concealer. So we will see with that. I usually start with complexion, so that's where I'm going to start today. So this is in the shade Medium 4, and it's the Sustain Complexion Pencil. Lots of good seal on there, so I'm going to see if I need to warm it up a little bit on the back of my hand here. Ooh, it's very nice and creamy. Not sharp or hard at all. I, I really like that. I hope it matches. Let's see here on my scarring. <gasps> Wait, I'm gonna turn down the brightness a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, it's like a perfect match. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. I didn't think I would be able to match it so well. This would be great for like traveling and stuff. I have a lot to cover up though. So let's see how well this works at covering up uh, acne and acne scarring. It's definitely more of like a concealer sort of consistency, so it's more thick. I'm having a hard time seeing my mirror because it's so far away. I'm gonna pull it in closer. Um, I'm having a hard time covering up the acne though because it's like spreading around it so it's not it's not like perfect it's working well to cover up the acne scarring but if it like has a head or anything it's kind of moving around that so I am breaking out right now what else is new but I'm hoping this can cover it up a little bit more if I don't blend it out and I just kind of tap it in it's working okay. But maybe this is just something for, you know, lighter coverage. I'm just gonna tap it all over and see how I can work this into my skin. I just have my regular um, skin base on right now. So that's hyaluronic acid, um, moisturizer and sunscreen, so not a lot is on here right now so there shouldn't be a lot of things interacting so I think that's a nice base it's very if you layer it on there it can be more of a fuller coverage but the way I'm kind of putting it on it's a light coverage it's more just kind of masking the masking the scarring I think this is sort of the thing you would want to just put on more of a moisturizer right before you put this on. It's been a while since I had my sunscreen and moisturizer on, but I think it would blend better if you had that on already. So that's what this looks like. Mm, let me lower the brightness again because it's kind of hard to see my skin on its own. So I have that on my cheeks, on my forehead. Also just want to point out that my camera does have a little bit of a natural blur on it, but I'm going to take a picture of my skin with my back camera here on my phone and then I will show that on the screen. I'll probably need you to be my mirror. <laughs> I'm making such a frowny face. Let me try that one more time. Okay, there, I'll show that to you guys. So that is just a very nice and simple base. Okay, let's move on to, I'm just, it's very nice and creamy, I really like this. I'm gonna move on to the eye pencil and the eyebrows. So this eye pencil is in the shade let me find it. Birch? No, wait. This is, it's in Plum. So this is the shade, and I'm just going to swatch that on my hand here. Ooh, it's very nice and plummy and creamy. I really like how creamy these pencils are. All the other pencils I've tried before are really stiff and hard, so I'm excited how creamy these are. I wonder how this is going to blend, though. So I'm just going to do start with a 
basic sort of wing. It's really easy to work with. Wow. And maybe I'll wing that out a little bit and see how that blends. I'm just blending that out into the crease there. It's blending really nice. It does um, hold more of its form. It doesn't blend away, which I prefer. But if there's something like you want it to be more of a base versus, you know, staying where it is. It's pretty easy to work with. And I'll probably put um, the blush I have in there, in the center there to work with. So let's, do you see how easy this is applying? Oopsies. I wonder how hard this is gonna be to get off. Let's see how it blends with the finger. So if you blend with the finger, it goes away more. But see how this side, it's kind of staying, so I, it does dry down a bit, but you can still kind of move it around. Oh, it's pretty. I like it. It seems very natural on my skin, so. I, when I was picking colors and stuff, I wanted to choose things that I could use more often versus things that I would only use like for a review or something. So I was picking more everyday sort of products. Let's me do my eyebrows now. This is an eyebrow gel in the shade brown. I kind of like how they don't use like super fancy out of this world names. Ooh, look at the, the wand on this. It's a pretty fluffy wand. It makes it easier to remember the names of all of the shades when they don't aren't all crazy. Let's see what the hold is on this. I'm going to brush my eyebrows up. If you have thinner brows, this probably wouldn't be a great product for you cuz it's a little bit hard to uh control but it is a thicker brow con uh, gel consistency than I was kind of expecting oh I wonder if that's too light for me it's definitely making my brows browner than I usually have them I wonder if I were to get a blonde sort of shade if I would be able to put it on top of my brows and make them blonde. Cause like usually when I use a lighter shade on my eyebrows, it'll still be like my hair, my eyebrow hairs will still be dark. So the, the light shade will kind of just be underneath the sort of brownness. But wow, this like dyed my eyebrows brow. It turned them brown. Let's see if I can clean up the edges a little bit. I feel like this is definitely a brand that you can use your your fingers for. You don't need to go out of your way to get brushes. This would probably be really great to travel with because, you know, you just use your pencils and your hands. You don't need to bother with all of the packing of brushes and all that. Wow, pretty. My hands are all messy though. Okay, let's do the bronzer and blush. So I used this once in my, um, my makeup video in part of my Halloween series that'll be on my TikTok. I think it was in my Courtney Grippling um, episode. 
I guess you could say. So let's use this pink. This is in the shade medium. This is a very bright pink, so I'm just taking a very little bit on my brush here. And I'm just gonna spread that around. It's very, it's very bright and concentrated. It may seem a lot softer on camera, but in person, this is <laughs> very pigmented and bright. Need to even it out. I'll definitely use the bronzer to help with this a little bit. I'm gonna put this on my eyelids. Ooh, I kinda like that. With the plum. Wow. Okay, and now the bronzer. I actually got all of these products just so I could get the bronzer because I needed a new bronzer. So I was like, oh, I'll find something, a new brand to get a bronzer in. So this is what I found. So I'm gonna use a big fluffy bronzer brush and I'm going to blend in that blush a little bit there. Let's get some forehead. It's a little bit hard to, you know, just hit one. So I kind of, I'm the type of person who uses a lot of blush anyways. So I wouldn't mind if I had a ton of blush just all over my face. But so here, I'm gonna go in the middle here. So yeah, that just adds more blush, but it's like more diluted. So it's more complimentary to my skin. Do you see that? I really like it. And it's like very light on the skin, like I can't feel it. And all of these products work really well together. That's like my favorite thing about getting products from the same brand is usually everything just works really well together. And I'm just gonna powder my, my, my forehead a little bit just so I can get a little bit of that shine gone. Okay, and I'm gonna put on some, this is a tinted lip balm from Peripera in the shade 02. I'm just gonna put that on the lips. And let's put on the lip gloss. So this is in the shade Birch. And I wonder how pigmented this lip gloss is. It's not super pigmented. It complements the chapstick I'm using, so you can't really see it on its own that much. But I feel like even if you were to put this on a different shade lip or anything, it would probably wouldn't show up that much, but it's very nice. Feels a little bit hydrating. None of these products have a scent, so if you like scented products, you probably wouldn't prefer these, but I prefer unscented products just because I have a scent sensitivity or a fragrance sensitivity, so things without fragrance I prefer. And for mascara, I'm putting on this Ilia mascara. Did you know this mascara was used in Wednesday? This is the mascara that they put on Wednesday. This is like one of my favorite mascaras. This and the Benefits Bad Gal Bang. Cause it makes the eyelashes very natural and full. So that's what we have. I actually really like it. Like this is the sort of makeup I would bring on an everyday sort of, like this is what I would have in my everyday kit. This is the sort of makeup I would bring with me on vacation. This is good for like just the everyday girly. You know, everyday girlies, you're gonna love this. And all natural girlies, you're gonna love this as well because the products are vegan, they're not tested on animals, and you don't need brushes to use them, you can just use your fingers, and you can do like a, a low coverage sort of base. So I adore it all. I'm gonna have everything linked down below. I'll have the website down below as well. And 
that is all I have for you guys today. I feel like that was a very quick review, but I it's easier to do a review on products you like and products that are easy to use. I think my favorite thing is definitely the blush and bronzer. I know the blush is pretty bright, but when I blended it out with the bronzer, it like looks perfect and it really um it really blurs the skin and this complexion pencil, I adore. I really like it. I, right now, it's covering up it pretty well, but I feel like once I put the, the blush and bronzer on it, it like made it even better. So I like that a lot. If you do like have um, cystic acne or a lot of whiteheads, this will probably, it won't cover that up, but like scarring and stuff, that'll cover that up in discoloration. I feel like will be really good for that. So yeah, that is all I have. That is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed it, again, make sure to like, subscribe, comment if you want, comment what your favorite product was, comment if you're going to try this out, or comment if you're indigenous. I want to meet other indigenous girlies and boys and non-binary people. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!